Hello everyone, I'm Colleen and today I'm going to be doing my February wrap up. I'm so glad because February is the shortest month of the year, yet I managed to read seven books. But I have to say, I did participate in Benjamin from Benjamin F. Thong's readathon, so it helped me read more and I completed three of the challenges, but I read two books, so let's get started with the books I read for Project TBR. So the first book that I read for the readathon completed two of the challenges, which was read a book over 500 pages and read a book with green on the cover. And I decided to pick up The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger. This took me a while to get into. It is divided into three sections and the first part of the book was the slowest and it was the most thickest part of the book but I managed to complete the book but as you can see you can see some orange sticky parts and these were the parts where I cried. <laughs> I've seen the movie when I was younger and I did cry when I was watching the movie and I rewatched the movie after I read this and I still love the movie even though they made a lot of changes from the book. They still had the same outcome and I was pleased with the movie. And um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six of these pages I cried in and Audrey Niffenegger just made me feel the emotions and I rarely cry in books. I gave this four out of five stars and this is about a man who can time travel but it's not his choice to time travel and it's also the struggle of being the wife of a time traveler. So the last book that I read for the Project TBR readathon completed the Read an Underhype book and I decided to pick up Soul Cross by Lisa Gale Green. I did a separate review of this book so I will link the video in the description box. So make sure to watch the video to find out what I think of this book and the plot. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. I read four ebooks this month and I guess I will start with the ebook that I loved so much and I... I really want a physical copy of this book and I would like to thank Nat Gally for sending this book to me in exchange for an honest review. And that book is called It's What I Do, A Photographer's Life of Love and War by Lindsay Adario. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. It is non-fiction, it is her memoir and she is a photojournalist and this book has like pictures of the things she's taken from wars and it was just amazing. She is an awesome writer too and with this book you actually know about her life but it is more surrounded around photography and how she fell in love with photography and how she made it her living and it was amazing so definitely guys pick this book up. I really really want a physical copy of this book so I can just like flick through it and reread it and it just I want to read it again already. <laughs> then I read book two of the Fall of Fire Isle or also known as the Last Hand Trilogy and that book is called Dark Legacy by Rowena Corey Daniels and this book is the second book in the trilogy and I can't really talk to you guys much about it because spoilers but I feel like it's a little bit more better than the first book, but I also love the first book. I felt like the first book was really addictive and it was based on romance and not really on war. And with the second book, there is more stuff happening, more action, and something exciting actually happens that I has been waiting for since the first book. I gave this 3.5 out of 5 stars. The last ebook that I finished this month was something that I read yesterday and I stayed up all night just to read it and it is called Mind Games by Terry Terry. This is the first book of Terry Terry's that I read and I actually really liked it. At the start I wasn't too into it, like I was 7% into the book and I almost put it down because I felt really lost and I felt like it, the world wasn't developed and I it just didn't almost keep me reading but I decided to keep going and I really really liked it and um, it was unexpected I was really expecting a romance to happen and I was really kind of upset about it at the same time I'm happy about it but I ship the main character and that guy I wish they were together but Maybe we'll have a second book with them together? I don't know. This book comes out on March 5th and I'll probably do a separate review of this book and if I do end up doing it, I will link it in the description box below. 
The two last books that I read was for Tastic's TBR Jar Challenge and my challenge this month was to read a book that I gave up on or didn't finish and so I decided to pick up Insurgent by Veronica Roth. I didn't get to finish this back in the summer because I didn't own the book and I borrowed it from my school library and I had to give it back but I was really interested in it and it took me a while to actually read it because I had my own copy in August but I just didn't pick it up but because Insurgent is coming out in March I decided I really need to read this and I am so glad I did it is like 500 and something long and I finished this really really quickly it was so fast-paced I I thought I wasn't gonna like Tris in this book, but I liked her. I didn't think she was annoying at all, and oh, this book, oh my god. I can't really tell you guys what happens in this book because spoilers, so definitely read the first book, which is Divergent by Veronica Roth. But yeah, I didn't find Tris annoying at all. I felt like this book was action-packed and it kept me really interested in everything, and the world is amazing. <laughs> Well, okay, probably not amazing, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. The last book that I read that went with the challenge is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I tried reading this like 3 years ago when the movie came out, but I was really, really confused about it. And I'm so glad that my class is reading this for our English class because it made me really like this book and we get to analyze it soon, but we haven't been doing that yet. Um, This isn't actually the copy that I read it on. I read it on the movie tie-in edition and I like that one so much more. But I gave this 4 out of 5 stars because I really really liked it but I don't think I would have liked it if I read it on my own. A new month, new challenge. It is time to pick my next TBR jar challenge. That's... Read a book... What? I just did this challenge, what even? So my challenge this month is to read a book that is over 500 pages and that's great. I don't know what book that will be but probably I'll probably get to read some of the fantasy books that I've been wanting to read. Who knows? It takes me a while to finish a book that's over 500 pages but you know, we'll see. I'll definitely complete this challenge though. So that was all the books that I read in February. I hope you guys liked this video. Comment down whatever you want and I will see you in my next video. Bye!